Okay, so how's everyone today? Good? So we were just talking about um, we were just talking about going to the gym and this gentleman that you saw that was that was big, but we said maybe he was too big, right? Um, I think it's good to stay in shape, but there are people that uh, we feel maybe get sometimes too big instead of uh, maybe maybe he was on a supplement of of some some sort, right? Um, so that that's interesting. Yeah, I go to UFIT, uh, the UFIT gym. Does everyone know UFIT? UFIT, yeah. So it's it's okay. It's um it's only ten dollars a month, so it's it's a bargain, right? We know what a bargain is. It's a good deal. So yeah, I do. I, I like it there. I've been going for about five five years. Um, sometimes I go with my girlfriend, but I usually go by myself. Oh, they have classes. Yes, you just have to go at certain times mm -hmm. for the classes. Yeah, do you guys go to the courses? Like cycling and things like that? Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, my girlfriend likes the cycling, the cycling courses. Uh, I don't know how many guys go to those, though. She said it's usually, usually girls in the cycling courses. Have you gone, Vince? No. Ah, they have many courses. Yeah, do you go to the courses? No. Are they included in the monthly? Is, are the courses included in the monthly? Oh, interesting. I think so. I think. I've never done that. I think you have to get the, the $20. There's a $10 a month and a $20 a month package. I think you have to get the $20 a month package for that. Ah, vitamin shop. I went there yesterday. Crazy. Expensive, right? Yeah, to buy? It's expensive though, right? Yeah. That's what I was talking to you about before, the, the gainers. The mass gainers. Yes. And it's expensive. If you... If you want to take that every month, you can spend like fifty to a hundred dollars a month on that stuff. So it can get expensive. I bought a pre-workout, which is what you take before you work out for energy, and it was like thirty dollars. So I only take a little bit because I'm very sensitive to it. So it will last me months. It will last me like five, six months, six months. Pre-workout. It's for like energy, endurance, um, things like that. And then it's to help your muscles while you work out. But the post-workout is a, a different shake. That's for after, to your, for muscle recovery and things yeah. like that. But it's, uh, is that no, I don't think so. I, I buy the safe one. Maybe some of them are. I mean, you do your research. Yeah. Do your research. I buy a very safe one that I've done a lot of research on. Yeah. But some of them probably are dangerous, yes. Right. I would hope they would not sell something dangerous in the store. Usually they have to get approved by a federal agency, uh, so I would hope so, right? But some of them are too expensive, right? Uh, and some of them make you too big, right, we would say? Uh, like you were saying before, you, don't want, you said you don't want to get that big, right? Um, and some of them can cost too much money. Uh, but... Uh, so what does that mean? It's, what, what, if I say it's too much money or you get too big, what does that mean to you? Right, so, but it, if it's too big, if it's too big, what does that mean? Like if something is too big or too much, too much money. Right, but what does that mean? Does it mean that it's more than you want or less than you want if it's too, too much of something? More, right? More of something, right? Uh, so that's why I was actually looking at the weather today, right? 76 degrees. How would we, how would we describe this? Perfect. Perfect? Perfect. For me, it's perfect. Is it hot, cold, too hot? So is it, so would you say it's too hot? No, I'm still warm. It's warm, so it's a little, a little more than you would, uh, than you would like it? Or it's perfect? Okay, 
So you would say it's uh, warm enough and cold enough? Would we say that? Not warm, not cold. Okay. So... Exactly. That's so not too warm, not too cold, right? Um, that's that's so when we sit, when we describe the temperature, if it's more, if it's hotter than we would like, we would say it's too hot. What if if it's colder than we like? We would say cold. too cold, right? Very good, right? So um, that's actually what I what I wanted to talk to you about today. If a waiter comes to your table and they say. Uh, would you like, would you like, um, or how much of this would you like on your food? Have you ever had a waiter do that? Like with, like with what would they, would they do that with? with pasta. pasta? Yeah. And what, what do they put on it? Uh, pepper. pepper. Anything else? Cheese. Cheese, right? Do you, have you ever had a waiter come up and they put more than you would like? So what do you say? You say... It's enough, right? It's enough, right? Exactly. And uh, do, you, do you answer them when they, if I say, would you like pepper? What would you say to me? Yes. As I, yes, please? Just a, just a bit, you would say? Or would we say maybe just a little? Like just a little? And then if they, they keep going, you say, that's enough, that's enough? Right? Otherwise, they ruin your salad sometimes. Have you ever had that? Or your, your whole meal, you say, this is too much. Uh, too much pepper or too much anything else you can think of that they put on any, any, at any restaurant the ice in the ice in the glass sometimes they put uh, what do they do too much too much ice and then you have like very little water would you say uh, so would you say there's uh, too many ice cubes or too much ice cubes too much very good. Too many. So you guys have heard, you guys have learned about this a little in a, in a prior class, a class before? Really? Oh, cool. So today, that, what we are talking about, they are called quantifiers. And I, and I have a, a, a game uh, on Kahoot like we did last week, right? So have we ever heard of quantifiers? Quantifiers? Has anyone ever heard of quantifiers? Right, so there's, they can be countable, they can be uncountable, and so what quantifier, if I, if I tell you the word quantifier, what do you think that means? Really? Because they, they talk about it as a as a as a one single group, right? As all of your hair, but you can talk about individual hairs, right? So have we heard what do, what does what is a quantifier? Does anyone know? Yeah. What is that? Right. So quantifier. We are trying to yeah the amount exactly perfect. So we are talking about the what word does this sound like? If I took just this right here, quanti. Is there a word that you can think of? Quanti yeah, it's quantity, right? We had two letters, quantity. So that's basically what that is. Uh, but um, so it's interesting because we use this to talk about like how much, the quantity, right? So we've heard we've heard we've heard of this a little in a class before. It's like what we were just talking about. If you're at a restaurant and you um, you know you have too much pepper, or can I please have a little pepper, or can I have a few ice cubes? That is too many ice cubes. Everything we just talked about would be quantifiers. But you can quantify everything. Um, yeah, but we would use much or many. It depends on if they're countable. So in quantifiers, your answer would be they are countable and they are uncountable. So uh, I'll give you an example. If you say much and many, which one of them are countable? Many, many right? Much we would use with uncountable. So you would say that's too much sauce. You're not going to somehow count the sauce, right? Or that's too much pepper. You're not going to see the waiter go. If you, you do, you ever say three, three, please? Okay, one, two, three. Yeah, you, there you go. <laughs> you can, right? But but we, but we don't do that, right? Uh, so that's exactly what they are. So 
like a, a large quantifier, if we want to talk about like a large quantifier, how would you say that you want a big amount of something? You would say, I want, I want a lot of, did you say? A lot of, exactly, a lot of. How, do we say that? A lot of? Or there's something that sounds very close to this, same structure. You would say, I want, you could say something very similar, so that would be uh, lots of. Have you ever heard, have you ever said lots of? Like I would like lots of uh, ice in my water, or I do not want lots of ice. Yeah, you can use, you can use lots of, yes. You can use, I would like uh, lots of ice in my water, please. Or you can, or this one, well, the of, but that's it. And then this one, you need the, the A. Yeah. So those are the two. But what you cannot do is uh, A lots, A lots of. You don't do A lots of. That's what you, that, that, that's what you can't do. So you can use these two. So what is it? It's like when you use one and a lot You can use either. You can use either. They mean the same thing. They just mean you want a big amount, a large amount. So that's a large quantifier. What if we, we talked about a small quantifier? I think we said, if I said, would you like pepper on your salad, right? A few, or, and then I think you said before, a little, a little right? A few, or a little, or you can say a little bit, right? So a few or a little, have we, have we used those before? I think you said, have you said that before, like at um, Hurricane? If you want some barbecue sauce on, do you do barbecue sauce there? No. Mustard, ketchup? Taco. Taco, right? So do you want cheese? Do you want maybe just a little bit? Or what do you say? Exactly. So that would be like a zero quantifier without, so how would we say we want none of something? We want like a zero amount of something. So he said none, right? So we could use the word none. Is there any other way to say zero? Without. Uh, what about, um, you would say, do you want some hot pepper? You could say, I do not want... Any, right? So we can say any. So do we know how those work with the any? So we could say, so with none, we can say, I want no, no, ice, in the water. no ice in the water, right? So we could say no, and then the noun ice, no, and then the noun here is ice, right? No ice. But we can also say none. We can also say none. It means the same thing, right? So if I say, how much ice do you want, none. you can say none, right, without a noun, mm -hmm. just none by itself. So this would be the zero quantity right here. So you want no ice, I don't, I, none. There's another word, right, I don't want, I think we said that before, any, right? We did that before. Any. I don't want any ice. So we, we've seen all this before? Any. Yeah, I don't want any ice. Any. So we would say any plus the noun any plus the noun and usually the verb before it is negative so like I so I could say uh, I don't want any ice so usually with any we put the negative verb don't want before any so and that is a that would be zero I don't want any ice. So you would say, I don't want any hot pepper or hot sauce, right? Or if he says, how much do you want? You can also say none by itself, right? Or you could say, yeah, I don't, uh, I want no hot pepper or no, no hot sauce, right? And hopefully he listens to you this time, right? And yeah, but you know, he might not again, just, just to make you mad. Um, so I think we've, we've talked about that, right? So if we go back to a, a few here, a few and a little, we, we, we've uh, talked about that before. So a few and a little, what is that used with? Singular or plural? Few? So we have few. Is that used with uncountable? Very good. Uncountable. And a little, is that countable? 
We use that with uh, usually uncountable. So how much ice would you like? How much pepper would you like? Just a little. So that's usually uncountable, right? So we talked about that before. We wouldn't say a few because he's not going to count the pieces of pepper on your salad, right? You could just say a little, right? And that is actually countable. So, exactly. So uh, would you like some pepper? Uh, just a little, please. Not just a few because you don't want him to count the pieces of pepper, right? So that's basically how it works. So we have the small, quant we have the large quantifiers, a lot of, lots of. We have the, the small quantifiers, I'd like a few or a little. And then we have the zero, meaning I don't want small or large, I want zero, I want none. So that would be uh, none, any, or no. So it sounds like we've used this before in common conversation uh, at a restaurant with friends, at the movies. If you ever go to the ice cream parlor, uh, maybe you want uh, maybe you want a little caramel on the ice cream. Maybe a few. What, what's an example of a few things you could get on your ice cream? A few chocolate chips. A few. What do you guys like on your Sundays? Nuts. Anything else? Whipped cream. Well, whipped cream would probably be a little, right? We probably wouldn't count that. What? Snacks. Like what, like Snickers? You get Snickers on the ice cream? Very nice. What about sprinkles? No one said sprinkles. We don't like sprinkles. Colored sprinkles, the, the dark chocolate sprinkles. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the sprinkles, though? They're different. The little, do we know sprinkles? No, we don't know sprinkles. Oh, like the little pieces, the little like lines. Have we seen them? They're like little candy. Yeah, yeah. Have we, some of them are all different colors, and then some of them are just chocolate, like red, yellow, green, white, and they, 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 they sprinkles. Have we seen them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to show a picture, if not, because uh, sprinkles are very popular. Sprinkles are, so I won't, I won't look that up then. But it's like, yeah, it's basically, it's basically just a lot of sugar. Uh, the sprinkles are just basically a lot of sugar. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so exactly, if you go to an ice cream parlor, if you go to a restaurant, um, even a movie theater, if, the, if they say, would you like anything on your popcorn? So if you say, if they said, uh, would you like any butter on your popcorn, what would you say? You, so you would say, I don't want any butter. So you would say, I don't want, so that's a negative, right? And then you'd say any in the noun, which would be butter, right? How about anybody else? Do you like butter on your popcorn? None? Hmm? Popcorn. Do you like uh, salt, butter? Yes. Like, have you seen butter on your, you've never seen? Like, uh, have you seen, has everyone else seen the, okay, so they have like, how would you describe how, that, how they do that? Yeah. And it's like melted, right? It's like liquid. They can put melted butter. You've never seen it? But they also put um, butter. So is this, is this uh, do we put butter on our popcorn where we are from? No. Never. Not, not Saudi Arabia, nowhere. Switzerland, no. Italy, no. It's very unhealthy, right? So if they put if, if if they put butter and you and you don't want any more, what would you say? It's enough, right? It's enough. So we use the word enough when we when we don't want any more. So we would say um, we can use that as an adjective too, right? So we could say, if, some, if you are walking, have you ever walked with someone and they are walking behind you and you want them to come, you're trying to get them to walk quicker with you? So you would say they are, what would you say, like with the word enough? You could say you are not walking, you are not walking, what? Well, to get them to walk faster. You are not walking... Fast, and then what? Enough. Enough. 
So you would say you are not walking fast enough, right? You are not walking fast enough. So with enough, we usually put the, uh, with enough, we usually put the adjective and then enough. You, yes, yeah, so you say enough is, 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 what, is what you want, enough. Is it, does it meet what you would like? Do you, want, do you need more or less? Ah, it's enough. Uh, sometimes as an expression, people do say that. It's, they say that's enough. So, but it means the same thing, right? Just like if you are not walking fast enough, then that means that you need to walk faster, right? But if they say enough, enough. So what, what would they be in what situation? Like in a conversation or? Yeah. You're discussing with someone or you're so then I think if they just say the word enough by itself, yeah. or they say that's enough or it's enough, so by it or that, are they talking about the conversation, the talking? So then you would say, uh, you would say like, that uh, is, so you are talking about the talking, right? So you would say, you are describing that there's, there is uh, too much talking. So it's enough. Some pe sometimes people do that. They say enough, and that they are, it's not proper. It, they are talking about the conversation, but they don't tell you. They just imply that it is for the conversation. Yeah, when people say that, they mean that they have heard enough. Yeah, so sometimes people say, that's enough. Um, sometimes people can be rude about it, like, that's enough. Sometimes it's used with uh, anger or frustration. Yeah, which means the same thing. Like, if someone asks you, uh, do you want more pepper on your salad? No, I've had enough. Then, I mean, you just had, you don't want any more, right? Uh, and then if we want to say, uh, if we want to say something is more than we want or less than we want. So if someone says, how, how much, do, do you like the amount of pepper I put on your salad? You would say, it's enough. It's enough. Or if you, maybe he put more than you wanted, what could you say? You gave me too much. Too much. I was actually, very good, I was going to write that on the board. So you gave me too much. Too much. What if they did not give you enough? What if they did not give you enough of what you wanted? You could say maybe it's too, too little. It's uh, it's not enough. If um, if I gave you, if I gave you a sandwich and it was smaller than you wanted, so you would be hungry. You would say that sandwich is too, too small, right? So that's the opposite. So you can use it with, you can use it with more than you want. Or you can use it with less than you want, right? It's too small. So, so it sounds like we've all seen this before. We use this in everyday conversation, right? Very good. Yeah, so those are, those are quantifiers. I just wanted to go over that with you guys today uh, because uh, the, we use them a lot in everyday conversation, right? So did everyone bring their, their phones? Maybe we could do, I was thinking we could do the Kahoot in Teams so that the Wi-Fi, uh, we make sure that the Wi-Fi works. So we have, uh, we have a few people missing today. So we have three and we have two. So we can do two, two. Do you mind uh, moving over with uh, Deanna and Abdul? And I guess this turned back off. Turn this on. So um, if you can turn your Wi-Fi off, if we are not, if you are not the person in the group that will be using the phone. So one phone per group. If you are not using your phone, please turn your Wi-Fi off. I, I have turned mine off on my phone. Uh, that way we have a quicker internet connection, right? And while you do that, I am going to load the game.
Okay, so now if you go to, I'm going to put it on Teams. If you go to Kahoot.it, it's going to come up on the screen here for you in a second. If you go to Kahoot.it on your phones, on the one phone per group. You, you've been on this? Oh, really? They use this. Oh, good. So you're familiar with it. Did you like it? It's good, right? So this way you can actually use your phone and not get in trouble, right? <laughs> and it's, 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 it's good to use the board and the computer and your phone. It, it, it's, different to, it's nice to, to do different things, right? Okay, so if you go to that website, kahoot.it, uh, most of us, I think, have done this before, right? And then we go, and we are going to enter the pin, which it should be pulling up momentarily here, right? Is the LAL students not working at all? It's not working at all? Okay. The one day we try to use the internet, right? Okay, so I will switch to the lock into then. What is that, chocolate chips? Ugh. Okay, I'm going to give it one more minute. If not, I will switch the exercise. It seems that the La Quinta internet is not working either. Are neither of the internets working? Um, I wonder if you can connect. If I connect through my phone and I read the questions to you, we can maybe do it that way too. Does that work? But oh, my phone is there, so I can't do that. <laughs> do we have... <laughs> I was looking for a second. I said, where, where did I put my phone? <laughs> um, thinking too much. Thinking too much and not thinking enough at the same time. Well, I was hoping that it would go back up. I have never seen an internet problem here. Um, but it may just be down. No, so no one's phone was connecting to the internet? No, that is that is the TV. That is the TV. Yes, I know that would be funny, right? Do you think I can connect through, Is does someone have a phone that they are not using that we can try to connect through? Oh, no. Does anyone have, uh, is one of your phones, uh, can you try going to uh, getkahoot.com? Oh, okay. Can you, the school is working now? The LA, LAL students connection, right? I will turn it off and I will turn it back on and I will cross my fingers. So what will we say about this internet? It is <laughs> too, slow. too slow, right? <laughs> or you can say very as well. So wh when do we use very? 
very, we use very, like very, can we think of, very strange. So what that does is it describes how much. So we could say, if, we, if you say, well, how much pepper would you like on your salad, you can say li uh, a little, or you can say very little. So very little means very, very, so it is like another adjective to it. So you would say like very little. Uh, I would not say, no, I would not say much little. Um, you are welcome very much. No. So nice. It's it's like saying very. No, you can say I'm very good. They, but they say that, right? Yeah, you can say I'm so good. So you, so you know. <laughs> you can say I would say I am very good. Yes. I am so good. You can say so happy. That's more. Uh, I would say very, though. I am very happy. But, the, but it does make sense to say I am so. It means the same thing as very. Like, I am very happy. I am so happy. It's just like a conversational. It's more of like an English conversational uh, piece. Right. Okay, so the Internet uh, gods have, have allowed us to play. I apologize for the delay. Okay. So now I will put it on the Apple TV. And the internet is actually going very well now. So, probably because uh, no one knows that it's working, so everyone gave up maybe. <laughs> everyone is disconnected. So, if you enter that code there into your phones, 5041114, like we've done that before, right? We've done that before, right? 5041114. And uh, you can use your, then that will allow you to use your phone as a controller. So, did everyone put their names in? You have to think of a team name. Is it, has it allowed you after you put in the code? Okay, so I see the lion in Europe. And then does it allow you to put your nicknames underneath? So whose idea was the lion? Everyone? Okay. So I see their nicknames there. And the line. All right, so we're all connected. So does everyone remember how the game works? Does everyone remember how the game works? Yeah. So, for instance, uh, it's going to give you a sentence, and then there will be a blank. We are, and this one will be on the quantifiers, like we just talked about. So, for example, if you say, I don't like the weather in London, in, in London there is blank rain. So you could say there is too many rain, too much rain. So what would the answer be there? Too many, too much. What do you think? Too much, too much, too many. So that answer would be too much because you can't count the rain, right? It's hard to count every raindrop that comes down. So you would say there's too much rain. So does everyone understand, or what will you do? You will answer the blank, right, with the correct quantifier? All right, so, and the faster you go, you remember the faster you answer, the more points you get, right? So even if you both get it correct, both teams, it's the faster you go, the more points you get. Is everyone ready? Yeah. All right.
So Jennifer is always at home. She doesn't go out. What would you say? She doesn't go out many? She doesn't go out too many? She doesn't go out enough. So enough. So, so, so zero got that one, right? So, she does, why would we say she doesn't go out enough? Anyone know? Yeah. Why would we say enough? Yeah. A mistake? But why would we say enough? Do you know now? Yeah, so enough. So if I said, uh, would you like more uh, butter on your popcorn? You say, no, I've had enough, or that is enough. So here they're saying she does not go out enough. So she is always at home. If she is always at home, then maybe she should go out sometimes. Maybe she needs to go out more. She needs to go out to the movies or just go get out of the house. So they are saying she does not go out enough. Just like there, maybe there is not enough butter on your popcorn, so you want more butter. But not you guys, right? No butter. But if there are not enough nuts or chocolate on your ice cream, so you want more. So she does not go out enough, so she needs to go out of the house more. So, I don't like the weather in London. There is blank rain. What do we think? Have you guys ever heard this one before? No. <laughs> too much. I hope, okay, good. You both got this right. I was going to say. So, too much rain, right? Good. So, we understood that one. So the lines are up by only 25 points. I haven't got time to finish my test. I haven't got blank time to finish my test. Enough. So I haven't got enough, just like the first one, right? She does not go out enough. I do not. So I haven't got too many time. So time, they talk about as like the general, the general concept of time. So you would say, you would not say many because you don't, they are talking about just time, just time, not minutes or hours, just to talk about time. You could say, you would say I have too much time, too much time. Yeah, exactly, like hair. So you talk about it as the general idea, just like the hair, I was going to say, yes, I have too much hair. You don't say I have too much, you don't say I have too many hair. You can quantify the time. You can, but when they talk about, so you could say I have too many minutes, I have too many hours, so you get specific into the countable, the countable parts of the time, but just time. So I see what you're saying, right? So, but when we say time, we are just talking about time, the idea of time. But then if you start to say the actual, ca the countable parts of the time, like minutes, hours, seconds, then you can say many. Just like hairs, if you get specific and you count specific hairs, then yes. So 3,264 to 2,050. You drank blank coffee, that's why you feel sick. Good. Very good. So coffee, we don't really count the coffee, right? So we say much instead of many, right? Very good. So mistakes. We can count our mistakes, right? So we would say many. Do we understand that? If you can count your mistakes, I made one mistake, two mistakes, three mistakes. If I give you your test back and you got 
five wrong and seven wrong, then you made two mistakes, right? It's still close. If you don't eat blank fruit, you can get ill. Enough. Oh, good. Very good. Who answered the fastest? Oh, Europe is on fire. They, that means they've gotten at least three in a row here. Claire is tall, blank, to be a fashion model. Tall. So she is tall enough. If you said, you could say Claire is too tall to be a fashion model, but this is saying that she, ha does she have enough height? Oh. oh no, you put blank milk in the pancakes dough. Wow, very good, with no, zero, less than a second. <laughs> Still close. Why did you buy so blank bottles of milk? Many, right? So many, why did we say many? Because you can count the bottles, right? If you, were, if you were talking about just milk, then we would say much. But we are talking about the bottles, which we can count, right? You already answered. Faster than the internet could load it. So you both got that right. Too much fast food today. So that's not countable, right? So, oh, still, Europe is in a good lead. So you should make sure you've saved blank money to buy a new motorbike. Now, okay. So enough. You should make sure you've saved enough because you, ha if I, you have to have enough money to buy something. Yes, enough money to buy. Not exactly, Talal. Yes, enough money to buy. Very good. Are you guys, uh, do, are you guys uh, talking as a group on your answers? No. Maybe Deanna should hold the phone and that way you, you both. So we'll, we will go up to question 20. We will go up to question 20. In the USA, children watch too much violence, right? How many classes? So we can count. OK, so you guys are working as a team more now. Are they fighting over the phone over there? How much are you? Very good. I've noticed we're getting a few more right now. Was it the teamwork we needed? So we'll go up to 20, so we have five more questions. There are too many chairs, so we can count the chairs, right? 18,000 to 12,000. Hmm? Well, I think it said there are enough chairs. If I could go back. There are enough chairs. You could say there are enough chairs in the room meaning we have enough, there is enough butter on the popcorn, there are enough chairs in the room. Yes, no, 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 don't be sorry, that was a good question. You were actually right. Uh, you could say enough. Is there blank lemonade for everyone? I don't want you to be thirsty. 
So if you don't want everyone to be thirsty, then you would be worried that there is not enough, right? Very good. You both got that one. 13,019. So we will go up to 20. So we have three questions left. We lost blank time with talking yesterday. We should have worked more. Too much. 21,000 to 14,000. Very good. Much. And the last one we'll do today. How blank coins do you have in your pocket? All right. So today the winner was Europe with 17 to 24,000. But we say we have just you have just won the battle. You have not won the war, right? All right. So uh, the last thing I want to do for today is I was just going to get some ideas from you guys. I wanted to write uh, a few things on the board just to see what you guys think here. So this is about food. Too salty, too sweet, too sour. Try to think of do we know what all of these mean? What is sour? Bitter. Bitter. Very good. Bitter. Like um, they say grapefruit. Bitter. Some, like, uh, some foods are, have a bitter taste to them. Sour. Bitter. Do we know that, that word? Sour. Um, so do we know... Have you ever had a, a candy like uh, Warheads? They're very, oh, oh, it's sour. You know that, that, oh, it's too much, right? Some fruits are like that. Some candies are like that. So I wanted to just see what you guys think. Try to think of two foods that are too salty, too sweet, and too sour. Uh, uh, the sour is usually acidic, yes. It's like bitter. So try to think of two foods under each category, and then we will discuss... Uh, we will discuss. At least one or two. Try at least one or two. Oh, it sounds like there's an A? Yes. Sour. Sour. So, our. Like, um, like, well, like, uh, if you, how do you pronounce, how do you, so there's minutes, there's 60 minutes in a what? 60 minutes are in an hour. And how do you spell hour? How do you spell hour? H O U R, right? Sounds like sour, right? So that it's that O U, ow, ow, that we, we do. Sometimes it sounds like there's an A. Did he say sore? Oh, sore. But the sore is to fly. Sore is to fly but to get the difference in pronunciation, right? So, yes, so that O-U, ow, ow sometimes, hour, hour, sour, right. Or just the word hour, O-U-R. It is our house to show possession or ownership, hour, right? All right, so do we think of any, do we think of any word for too salty, any foods? Too salty? Like what? Meat? What type of meat? Like at a restaurant? Sometimes they make it too salty? Too salty or too... Soap? Soup. Soup. So what, what can we think of a soup that's too salty? Like a chicken noodle soup? Sometimes too salty? Okay. What about popcorn at the movie theater? Do we ever go to the movie theater? Sometimes the popcorn is way too salty. I can barely eat it because they, they, they just pour the salt on. Ah, see, in other, in other countries, do you use sugar? Do you use sugar more on the popcorn? No? 
caramel. Sometimes, yeah, yeah. But usually at the movie theater, it's just salt and butter. And then they have like other seasonings sometimes. All right, what about uh, sweet? What is something that's too, too sweet? Ice cream is too sweet, so it's not. It's more. Is it more sweet than you would like? A what? What is that? Okay, so what is that? Oh, okay. It's a candy. Bacalao. Is that like chocolate? Okay. Ah, okay. Okay, good example. Uh, thank you for sharing that. That's a good, that is a, thank you for sharing that. That is a good example. What uh, do we can we think of anything else that that is too sweet? What about Vince? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but uh, what else? Like uh, candy. Sometimes candy can be too sweet, right? Whipped cream. Some ice cream is too sweet. I think. Anything else? Drinks. What was that? Marshmallows too sweet. Oh, very good. Is that like um, cookies or cake? It looks good, but it's too sweet. Okay. But it's good, though? Okay. What else? Um, and then for sour, can we think of anything with sour? Some candies are sour. Have you had sour candies? Like, do you know the names of any? Okay, so there's, there's warheads, which are like these little candies with sugar. They're very, very sour. They make you go, like, you can barely put it in your mouth. And that's why they call them a warhead, because it shows a picture of, like, a head exploding with, with all the sourness in your head. Uh, can we think of anything else? Any fruits? Lemon is sour. Lemon and lime are sour, right? Some people don't like sour. Some people love sour. So very, coffee? Coffee, uh, usually coffee, is it sour? Maybe some coffees from other countries. Very good. All right, guys, so that's, that's basically what the class was about. So we learned about the quantifiers. We played some games on the Kahoot and that used the quantifiers, and then we went over too, too, too much of something, right? So thank you, guys. I want everybody to have a good weekend, okay?